right Amarillo North to the main library. Uh, downtown somewhere, three miles maybe. I surprisingly slept here overnight. This wasn't too bad. Pretty cold. Got to test out winter gear. It's always fun. All right, uh, yes, take a left. Oh my goodness. Seeing behind, ooh. What's this, I see me, seeing behind me is not, not ideal. Seeing behind me is not ideal. Oh, that helps, that helps. Every little thing helps. Uh, which way to go? Which way to go? Turn left at the stop sign. Okay, so the car started okay. It's cold as it got. I have no idea what the temperature is. I need to like keep a temperature gauge. I've never really done that. I usually just look at the internet. Mmm. I don't know what the temperature is inside. Okay. In one mile, turn left on Tulis Drive. Alright. I checked the brake fluid. That's full still. <laughs> it's like the least of my concerns. And here I'm driving around with a clutch system, a hundred and sixty dollar clutch system that weighs like at least ten pounds. I've been driving around with that for years now. A spare clutch system I never needed to get. It's so strange. Thirty-five. Okay. The library should be open now. It's like nine thirty. Oh, people slow down for this. Oh. I have to. Other people do, yeah. I have to slow down for this type of... Oh, God. It's like a stop sign. Alright, and left on Dumas Drive? What? Back to Dumas. Which is not even called Dumas on, at, on the road. Grackles that are out of their habitat, out of their natural habitat. They're in a field. It's not. I've never seen a called Dumas though. Ah, oh, here's another. It could be nasty. It looks like it is. Yeah, a little bit, a little nasty. Yeah, the crime is looking kind of rough around here. Uh, oh, I go down the highway. All right. So I, I think I see it. Turn left on Dumas Drive, then take the ramp on the left. Turn left on Dumas Drive. It's a long stop light. You see, like, there's there's signs that this area is pretty bad. There's trash. There's a dead cat that looks like it's been decomposed pretty advanced on the road around the library. I, I walked around a little bit. I mean, cages around around the patios and the front front door area. Oh, that's okay. I think I take a left here. Somebody ran over this sign in a weird way. This is a big city. 
such a screwy street. Mm. Another left, okay. Wow, it must get pretty busy to see that. All them screwy left left curve. librarian in the north library he said that the uh there's there's free parking at the library but the side streets are all pay to park pay meters so there's this is a red light camera intersection um i'm not seeing the camera <laughs> i don't want to find out the hard way yeah, two intersections are red light. Red light camera. They're usually pretty obvious, but this is Texas. They're pretty obvious in, in Oregon and other states. Huh. Well, I just can't see it. But if they're doing that, wow. That's a busy, busy, nasty intersection. They usually do that for Mexico. Ah. I'll just say that it really stood out in Woodburn, which is a big Mexican area. Okay. Because they, the Mexicans, wow, the way they drive sometimes, it's just, they don't care for stop, stop signs. A stop sign is a yield sign. Somebody broke their fish tank just sitting in their front yard yeah it looks yeah it definitely looks rough man people throw their trash right on the ground you can see various various pieces of trash on the ground in people's private property and you know as much as they try to pick it up I'm thinking this trash just keeps keeps collecting and this is actual, like, human, human trash. All right, I gotta take a left. I wanna get ready, prime for that. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I hope this is the right location. Wow, I never really confirmed that. Uh, nope. Nope, that's a church. That's not a library, that's a church. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna, I gotta confirm this on my, my Google Maps now. Oh, Jesus, I know it was downtown. Hopefully this thing knows, oh, it won't know because of, the Wi-Fi needs to be turned on. Okay, get out of that. All right. All right, it doesn't see where I'm at. Uh, okay, battery. All right, so this, this is a struggle. I did not confirm the location. It gave me the wrong address, consistent with the GPS uh, setup. Okay, should have Wi-Fi, yep. All right, I don't think I'm anywhere near. All right, so I go further down. And it'll, uh, I have to go, I have to go like five blocks further down. All right, so I'm just gonna have to look for it. Uh, the GPS is wrong. How do you, if, uh, man, Garmin. Garmin's so frustrating. So, yeah, I, it's a one way, I want to get back on that one way. And it's not too busy, so I guess I can I have room to make mis some mistakes. It brings me to a church. It brings me to a church. Five blocks away from the li actual, well Google Maps could confirm. How do you fix G Garmin? Garmin needs to be fixed. It's over this bridge. 
Garmin's done this kind of stupid stuff before, too. It's not here, Garmin. It needs like a system for feedback. Parking looks pretty decent around the church. A library. What is there? A church library? Garmin really got it wrong this time. Okay, I'm gonna guess that curved that curved rooftop is oh there's homeless people. The curved rooftop is probably the library on the left. I should be should be watching this. But I think that's it. Now to turn in the library. Oh that's it. Okay. Okay, this is the back side? Okay, prohibited, yes, one ways. Okay, so parking, yeah, just like he said, it's unregulated. Okay, during library hours, library parking only. Okay, there's a lot of space, there's a lot of spaces available. This is pretty decent. Five blocks off. Jeez, Garmin.